Okay, now we have to hook up the microphone system. And you want to find the plug here that has the green jumper wire on there and unplug that. Uh, I'll do that afterwards. Then, depending on what you have, uh, if you're hooking up the voice control module like I am, you want to take the uh, plug marked SDS, that's this one here, and plug that into the end of that cable that you just removed the uh, green jumper from. If you don't have that, if you're just going with the cell phone module, then you will plug in the UHI into that plug. And then whichever plug you don't use, there's a little parking spot for it down in here. You just plug it down into there. It keeps it neat and out of the way. Okay, just as a note, you have to squeeze from both sides in order to get this jumper off. I have my plug into there and my other one parked into there. I'll just stash this aside. And okay, I wound up buying the uh, push to talk arm from dealership, $25. And we're plugged into, see that nub right there? We take the cap off the top of there and just put it into place and snap it in and snap it in there uh, permanently. So let's do that now. Okay, now this actually does fit in there. The other one must be a little fatter and below in the comments I will list uh, all the parts involved. Uh, but this one does not fall out like the other one. It does push all the way in. Okay, now we are going to install into the center console the connector for the Bluetooth. And that will fit down inside the pocket here. Uh, we have to remove this floor and that's going to mean removing a screw here and a screw here as well as removing this screw and this screw and it's going to be a T8 Torx bit very small bit actually I have one in my security bits collection so we'll do that now After that, you can lift the floor up, and there's a plate down the bottom, which it should have been attached to, and it's just two pins there that you squeeze in to separate them. Mine was already separated. And now we have to break this section out here of the floor. And the instructions are kind of vague if you read them. Uh, it just says break it out, but it looks to me like there's three tabs that are actually holding it in place, so I'll have to undo those and then break this loose in here and then the uh, then we'll be able to snap the unit in. Okay, it was a lot easier than expected. Um, it would appear that this floor and this piece are all one piece, but no, they're two separate pieces completely and the trick is Push with your thumb in the middle here while pushing on the top single tab. So you push up there and it'll just flip right out for you. Nice and easy. And then I'm not going to show you on video, but we are going to feed the wires through the hole and snap this into place. This also has matching three tabs just like the other plug did. Okay. Now you have, down there is the power connector. That's the power connector right there. And down here is the Fakra antenna connector right there. And this is your Fakra antenna. And that's your power connector. You want to plug them in. And on the instructions, they show holding it 
in that position there, and then you'll flip it up to put them back together. Uh, I think that's going to be the tricky part. You need to hold this up, snap the two halves together, and then route the wires around. So let me hook up the power and the antenna, then we'll go on to the Okay, I have it in. Uh, in the end, yeah, it put up a big fight. Uh, the uh, two clips that have to fit into the lower floor piece, of course, one of them broke off on me. Uh, there's just not enough wire and room there to actually snap them together. Um, what I would recommend if I had to do it over would be put the lower floor down, uh, move the wires into, across the, uh, the uh, clips that are in the place on the top for them, push this down, and then just fish around and try to snap those two clips into that lower floor that way. Um, I think I got the remaining clip in there. It's hard to tell. I don't quite feel a bulge in there. Uh, other fight will be to expect it. Trying to get these two screws in. Uh, what you'll probably want to do is get a toothpick into one. Uh, also get a helper to support this while you're trying to get the screw into the other because this is just going to keep trying to fall down on you. Uh, so expect a fight there. An extra set of hands will be helpful. And uh, let me see how the blue. Okay, so I have my Bluetooth unit. And that's it. So that snaps in there. There's a little button there. If you need to release it, you hold that down, pull back. And there's just barely enough room for you to snap that into place. So you're going to have this back against there. And there we go. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to test out the phone system right now. So we'll hit uh, telephone. Phone off. We'll hold down the pairing button for three seconds. The blue lights start blinking. Uh, Bluetooth. requires a pin for the pairing and it is 62872 and that is true of all of them we are connected and we are connected and there we go. Uh, let's see if uh, one thing that it won't do is it's supposed to download the phone book, but the newer phones you can't expect that to happen. Oh wait, allow access to contacts. And nothing happens. <laughs> I don't have the phone, the microphone hooked up yet, uh, but after that, I'll be able to test it out and see about uh, actually making a phone call through the car.